Friday night, or well, Friday afternoon at the moment, just finished work, and we've got club night at the railway tonight. But I would normally run gin tea for this, and last time out, it had that funny ash pattern in the smoke box. So I'm gonna take a quick look at that, see if I can see anything obvious and adjust if possible. Um, try and change something, see if there's anything to change. Um, let's take a look. So first of all, I'm gonna try taking the blast pipe off, take the blower off, this combined blast and blower ring, um, where the ash was or wasn't. Um, it felt like it was more of a, a blow around around the bottom of the blast pipe. So we'll take that off and see if we can find anything that might give us a clue. So a bit more of that came out than I was intending. It should have undone here, but that thread seems to be a bit tight and it's, it's unwound it from down below. So first things first, reseal that in, but I can say I can't blow or, or up and get anything to come out. So it might have been leaking around here. Um, I'll put a bit more stuff down to try and um, seal that around here where it goes through the bottom of the smoke box. Um, otherwise, I have thought it might be the end of the steam pipe. That union might not be sealing properly. So I will put this back in, undo that, and take a look there. So in taking that out, trying to get it back in, um, threads were tight, so I actually found it easier to take the steam pipe out. As you can see, it's on two flat face flanges, so it can come out pretty easy. They're, they're quite big nuts compared to the size of the pipe. But that was done just for pure ease and bulkiness, so that being in the smoke box when they get dirty and grimy, you can still uh, get a decent sized spanner on it to get it undone. And, you, and on the downside, you need to be able to fit a decent sized spanner in the gap. Um, but I'm then th starting to think that maybe it was this that was leaking. Uh, if that was spraying a little bit of steam out and across that would have caused what we were seeing. Um, but say, so, I don't think there's anything wrong with that now. I put a load of tape around the gaps to, to squeeze down on PTFE tape. So that should be a good seal now. Um, just tighten up the blower pipe while it's while the steam pipe's not in the way. Uh, I will add this little screw here. If I were to release that, um, the center of the blast nozzle will lift out and I can replace that. So if I was doing heavy running regularly, then I could put a slightly larger nozzle in it, only very slightly. Um, and if I was planning on doing lots of light running, I could put a smaller nozzle in just to give a bit more draft. But generally, this is a pretty good engine. It doesn't need any changing. So, <clears throat> so having told you that I was going to put the blower pipe on and then the steam pipe, I then forgot to put the blower pipe on, which was a bit of a pain. Um, so now I've got to work around the steam pipe to, to get the blower pipe screwed back on. Being a bit of a pig, because I'm not quite getting as much movement as one flat of the spanner, but... It's getting there. Back in a minute. There we go. All buttoned back up. This is all clean now because I annealed it just in case it wanted to flex slightly to get into better positions to to go. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Give it a run tonight, and I will report back. Um, I might even do it as a live video when I see you later. At which point I might just upload this now. No, I'll wait till later, do some more tests and show you how I get on.
put water in, but I'm running out of space for water. Um, so the door's cracked open just to try and get a bit of air through. So I think it must have been that steam pipe. So I was going to do a YouTube live video, <clears throat> but I've never done one before. Went to do it, and apparently I need 24 hours before I do one, before I do a first one, I have to register to be allowed to do it. So, that have to wait for another time. But, I did one for Facebook instead. So if you're on there, well, you should be able to find it. It's just me driving around for a couple of laps and watching the engine. So, yeah. Um, but she's running beautifully. It's making steam like a witch. Really happy with the repairs so far, although I won't know for certain until I open the smoke box to see what the ash is doing. But I think, yeah, that's cured it. Well, I think my red light for the tower light was big enough. I think it might need testing again under heavier conditions because it was steaming well and there's not a lot of ash in the smoke box but what there is there still seems to be a bit of an area in the middle here where the ash hasn't really collected it's a fair bit up at the back and a fair bit at the front so a fair bit there's not a lot in there it's a good day